Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at the new guided upright feature in Lightroom. So I'm going to start in the develop module and go to the lens corrections panel. I want to make sure that I remove the chromatic aberration as well as enable profile corrections for this image in order to get the best results from the guided upright. Then we'll scroll down and in the transform panel, we can see all of the different upright modes. In this case, I want to choose the guided upright and now I'll drag two guides to correct the vertical perspective and two guides to correct the horizontal perspective. I'll start here in the top area of the window and you'll notice that there's a loop overlay that can help me be more precise. So I just want to position that right there, drag down, and the more accurate I can be while drawing this, of course, the more accurate the results are going to be. So I'll go ahead and leave it there. Now, nothing happens when I drag out the first guide. I've got to drag out the second guide in order for Lightroom to go ahead and correct this. So I'll start on the window on the left there, click and drag out in order to correct the vertical perspective of this image. Now, I also want to correct the horizontal perspective. So here, I'll go ahead and use the windows again. I'm going to click and drag to the right along the bottom of this metal area. And then I'll do the same thing, clicking and dragging out to the right on the metal going across the top of the windows. Now, if you ever want to make adjustments to any of the grids that you've drawn, and in this case I do because you can see that I'm off a little bit in the lower right hand side, then we just select any of the endpoints and then we can reposition those. So I'll just drag that in just a little bit and have it recalculate. If it's not enough, I can just reposition it a little bit more and there we have it. Now, when you have an image like this where it's making a really drastic correction, you might want to use the scale slider. I'll click and drag this so we can zoom out a little bit if you wanted to recover some of the other areas in the image. Or you might want to use the scale slider move it over to the right in order to crop into the image. If you need to reposition the image within this canvas area, then you can use either the X or Y offset sliders, or we can simply position our cursor inside of the image area, hold down the command and the option key, and then you can see that I can reposition the image within this canvas area. And as I move it around, we can actually watch the X and Y offset sliders move. So there you have it, a quick overview of the new guided upright feature in Lightroom. My name is Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.